Well, as far as Lillian Smith and Annie Oakley go, remember, they were only together for about 20 months, maybe not even. I don't think that Buffalo Bill Cody thought too much about introducing these two women to each other. What happened, though, is that you've got these two young ladies, one of whom is only 15 years of age, one of whom is 25, 26 years old, and they, um, one of them was a lot less mature than the other one. Lillian, of course, was uh, 15 years old. She had never been out of the sights of her parents before. And the first thing that she did, and she may have been encouraged to do this, is to sort of run laps around Annie Oakley and say, I'm the better shooter. I think on some level, Lillian Smith really had hoped that she would find an older sister in Annie Oakley. That did not happen. And I think she was taken aback by Annie's immediate um, uh, hostility toward her. And I think once that she recognized that, oh, this is not a person who's going to take me under her wing socially, uh, she was um, acted as any other teen would, which is to antagonize her a little bit and maybe act offensively and say, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the better shooter, everyone likes me better. And Annie, the Victorian woman that she was, decided this is a thorn in my side that I am going to rise above. So the two of them very quickly set up this, um, these parameters and these boundaries between the two. Outside of the arena, the two women, the closest that Annie Oakley and Lillian Smith came to shooting against each other was when the two of them performed at Wimbledon. Now, of course, they performed at two different times. Lillian Smith performed two days before Annie Oakley. She had a terrible day. The wind had picked up, it was drizzling, she was wearing flashy clothing, I think it was yellow, and she had a sash, and she had a quote-unquote little Mexican boy with her. Um, she didn't have a big entourage, but the one that she did was sort of these, the people who were the misfits of the Wild West, those who had nothing better to do that day, and those that didn't mind earning the wrath of Annie Oakley. And she was given a rifle that wasn't hers, it wasn't the right size, and a lot was made in the papers of the fact that she hit the hind quarters of a metallic rabbit or deer. And that was a big no-no in shooting circles, because if that was real life, you would have shot the hind quarters of an animal and left it to run away bleeding to death. Two days later, Annie Oakley showed up and she does much better. She also has a royal entourage with her. She's got a couple of lower ranking royal members with her and they are all clapping and telling her what a pretty young lady she was. Again, with her, no score recorded. But from what the newspapers say, she performed a little bit better than Lillian Smith. Frank Butler and Annie Oakley left Buffalo Bill's Wild West around Christmas of 1887. I believe that Lillian Smith being in the show was a big problem for Annie. 